Extreme weather is the day-to-day face of climate change, according to the World Meteorological Organization, and on that front there was no let-up in 2021. Today's report highlights how massive storms, flooding events, heat waves, and droughts last year imposed a heavy toll on human lives and resulted in hundreds of billions of dollars in economic losses. It also triggered shocks for food and water security, as well as human displacements that have only got worse in 2022. I will give you the bottom line. The global energy system is broken and bringing us ever closer to climate catastrophe. Fossil fuels are a dead end, environmentally and economically. We must end fossil fuel pollution and accelerate the renewable energy transition before we incinerate our only home. The first climate record set last year was greenhouse gas concentrations in the sky above us. This reached 49% above pre-industrial levels. The WMO says it has gone even higher since then. The second was ocean temperatures. Much of the ocean experienced at least one strong marine heat wave. The report says it could take thousands of years to reverse this. The third record was ocean acidification. This is now at its highest level for 26,000 years and it's a threat to marine organisms and ecosystem services. Sea level rise was the fourth climate record set. This is caused by melting ice sheets. It's up 4.5 millimetres per year since 2013 and has more than doubled in 20 years. We know what to do. The Working Group 3 report from IPCC makes very, very clear that we have all the tools we need to reduce emissions by half by 2030 and to get to net zero potentially by 2050. That gives us an even money's chance of limiting warming to about one and a half degrees by the end of the century. The United Nations is calling for urgent action to transform global energy systems away from what they call dead-end fossil fuels. George Lee, RTE News.